Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a new look, and it's actually based off of uh, two blushes that I picked up. And um, I was actually going to go ahead and do another look with the Twilight palette that I just got from ColourPop. And I actually put on these two blushes from Revolution. They're the super dewy ones, and um, this one is actually a peach, and this one is actually listed as a highlighter. For me, it's actually a blush, and it comes out to be more of a rose kind of blush. So uh, when I went ahead and got these two on the cheeks, it just didn't look like the right kind of thing to go with Twilight. So, um, so I did something different, and so we'll go through it real quick here. I started with the Glow Oil the, uh, by Supergoop in SPF 50 there. And then I did go ahead and use the Pretty Fresh Foundation by ColourPop in Fair 30. Uh, for the bronzer, I did go ahead and use the Avila Bronzer by ColourPop. These now have new packaging. And... Um, this older packaging that they did for the powder, they have this both in a powder and a cream, and the new packaging um, I for the creams is basically this sort of thing, except for I think it's gold. And um, I like this packaging and some of their other packaging better than this kind, uh, but this is what I have on as far as bronzer there. And so what I'm trying to say in a nutshell, so new packaging is a lot better. And then, um, like I said, I did go ahead and put both these on. Uh, this is a swatch of the blush right there in peach. And this is a swatch of the highlighter. And this one is actually, it is listed as a highlighter for me. It's definitely going to be a blush. And so I went ahead and mixed these two together today to go ahead and get the blush. And then what I did on top of that was go ahead and use the Scooby-Doo highlighter. And um, this is from Glam Light. The one on the bottom here actually shifts gold. This one uh, shifts pink. And so with this one on the bottom, it's actually all glitter. So you'll see glitter on your face and then your blush underneath. And I think it's a really pretty look. And with the palette that I went ahead and did a look with, it's so bright that it just kind of worked a little bit better for me that way. And so um, as far as what I did on the lips today, I did go ahead and use a go-go. And this is one of the Just a Tense by ColourPop. I think it's one of their best. And um, I have a couple of uh, the Just a Tense. They smell and taste like passion fruit. So if you like, uh, you know, something a little bit different, then um, you would really like these. If you don't like scents and that kind of thing, I guess you wouldn't. Um, but as far as the palette I went ahead and used, I used Lost in Love today. This actually came out on Valentine's or right around Valentine's this year. And I just now picked it up. I think it's kind of a groovy 60s psychedelic kind of thing. And these are actually, it's raised plastic on the top. So, yeah, it's very 60s inspired here. And so this palette, went ahead and used uh, this one on my crease. And then this one on the outer corner. Um, I did go ahead and use this right on the the inner part of the corner there um, but for my actual corner highlight I used the white over here um, but this is on my inner corner um, I did put a little bit of this right in this area up here uh, this mat and then I put some of this on top of it and then I did go ahead and use the ColourPop um, eyeliner in burgundy I don't know where that went seems to here it is so the burgundy eyeliner to go ahead and uh, do the eyelining with. And then I did go ahead and use this um, orange as a pop of color right on the very middle of the eye there. That's the way that the eye look came out. Uh, this particular color story got really popular last year. There were a whole bunch of de designers who went ahead and did um, the 
pink, the red, and the orange, and they did clothing, and so they did different tops and skirts, and they would mix them all, and I mean, it's about as vibrant as you can get with this kind of color story, really it's a color block that you'll notice. So um, I think it's really pretty. I think it'll be great in the summertime. And um, I'm kind of hoping that some of those designers bring some of those pieces back. Maybe I wouldn't get a whole dress, or but, you know, just to get a top that has some multicolors, that would be really cute. But anyway, um, really good palette, really good ColourPop quality. I think a couple of these formulas are a little bit different um, and new, and so I was really surprised and happy would definitely recommend to everyone. And um, let's see, what else do I have here? As far as lips, again, I went with the Just a Tint, but since this look is so blingy, I went ahead and used the NYX. These are the Butter Gloss uh, Bling. And so these ones actually are great for toppers, and they have glitter in them. And again, they're the NYX Butter Gloss Bling. Uh, some of these, and I can't find that one, I have a gold one that's mainly glitter. It doesn't have any base to it, but it's mainly glitter. This one has a peach base and a burgundy base, and they both have glitter in them. So you don't see the glitter as, I don't know. Um, I need to find that gold one and try it out again. But um, anyway, for a really blingy look, these are just a lot of fun. And I did go ahead and use a Triple Beauty Perfect Glowy Powder. And this one's by Beauty Pie. So that's what I have on as a finishing powder. And went ahead and finished it up with another of the best of ColourPop, which is a fourth ray glisten up. And this is um, an illuminating mist. I use it as a setting mist. It has mica in it. So it really, it gives you those mica particles that bring a lot of shine to your face. And um, it, I think it has a little bit of oil, but it doesn't feel like uh, the e.l.f. one. And the e.l.f. one, which is the new one, the Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. This one, it's definitely dewy, um, but it's not going to give you the sparkly glow that this one will, because this one has mica particles that actually show up a little bit like glitter, but they're really, really small. This one has oil in it to make you look dewy and glowy. So that's kind of the differences there. Um, this one I've repurchased from ColourPop so many times that I can't, I don't even know how many times I've repurchased it. Um, it's officially listed in 4th Ray. 4th uh, Ray is the ColourPop Skin Care line, and it's on the same website as ColourPop. So you can pick these up there, but um, it does have a really, really nice orange scent. And I think that that's probably the look uh, and the video. And I hope that you have a great day, and I will go ahead and see you later. Bye.